Hello everyone, this is Cindy with Monarch Mom DIY. Thanks so much for joining me today on my channel. Today I am making two decor pieces using items from the Dollar Tree and also a couple items I found at the thrift store. So for the first item, we're going to use faux moss stones and floral moss, a floral foam, and burlap ribbon from the dollar store along with this wooden crate that I found at the thrift store for 99 cents. First thing I'm going to do is give it a coat of our Waverly chalk paint in the color white. I really love this paint because it is thick and will stick to pretty much anything without needing to sand. Um, I don't mind it being a little bit rustic looking with seeing some wood through. So I'm really just doing kind of a sloppy job, um, I would call it, as I paint all the little grooves of this wooden crate. I'm actually not sure what kind of crate this is. I don't know if it is used to store CDs. I've seen ones like that at Walmart for pretty inexpensive. Um, it did have like a wine logo on the end, so I'm thinking maybe a bottle of wine came in it, but I see these all the time at the thrift store. If you can't find one, you could always use a box. It doesn't have to be a wooden crate. Um, or I've seen some other YouTube videos where people actually make a crate using either paint sticks or wooden rulers. Um, let me know in the comments if you guys would like to see me do uh, a DIY video making something like this crate. While we're waiting for me to finish painting this crate, it does have a lot of little grooves and spaces in it. Um, I just want to thank you guys again for your awesome comments and watching my videos and sharing them and liking them. Um, we're getting, let's see, as I'm recording this, I believe I'm at 8,500 subscribers around there. Um, just a reminder that I will be doing another giveaway for 10,000 subscribers and I'll announce that as I get a little bit closer to 10,000 subscribers. So thanks so much. Please continue commenting and liking and sharing my videos with others. Unfortunately, I lost the footage of what I did with this floral moss and the moss stones. I took a floral brick and I just hot glued moss all over every side except for the very bottom and I put it inside the crate. Next, I took three long sticks and three shorter sticks, and I, with a little dot of hot glue, I made three crosses. Those are dry, and now what I'm doing is I'm attaching a piece of jute twine from the Dollar Tree to the center and giving a little bit of length there while that first little end dries. And then I'm just going to wrap this jute where the two crosses cross each other in an X. You can see me doing that here. So just to um, give a little more stability to where the two sticks are connected and just give it a little bit more of a farmhouse look. And I'm just going to do another little dab of hot glue just to secure the end so that it doesn't come unraveled. You'll see here that I have my cross in the middle is slight, I used slightly larger sticks. Um, this one will be bigger. This represents the cross that Jesus was on and the other two um, crosses will be slightly smaller. But I'm using the same process for all three crosses. Here you can see the crate with the moss covered floral foam. I start by sticking the middle cross in to my floral foam and then the other two trying to space them equally on either side of the middle cross.
Taking a piece of the burlap ribbon from the Dollar Tree, I have printed out the words, He is Risen, as I've shown in other videos. And because I can see through the ribbon, I'm just going to trace it with my fine tip black painter's marker. These are made by Elmer's and I buy them at Walmart for about $2.50 a piece. And once I hot glue that on the side of the crate, this is the finished look. I did also glue some of those moss stones. For our next project, I'm using this wooden block puzzle that I found at a thrift store. It comes with nine blocks and they come in this wooden tray. I'm also using some Mod Podge and shoe polish from the Dollar Tree and just some letter stickers I had on hand. The first thing I did was I painted all the sides of my blocks and the tray with my white Waverly chalk paint. Then I found a picture online. I just Googled something like three crosses, Easter, sunrise, or something like that. I printed out the picture and then I cut it to fit inside this tray. I believe it was six inches square. So I put a layer of Mod Podge and then I'm just rubbing this down as much as I can to get out any possible bubbles. And then once that's dry, I do go back over it with another layer of Mod Podge. Lately, I've been finding a lot of these wood block puzzles, I think because they're pretty hard. I've tried doing a couple of these puzzles and they're not the easiest. So I'm thinking maybe parents get frustrated and they just donate them. But anyway, they're nice solid wood blocks that you can do a lot of cool things with. So now taking my letter stickers, I'm finding the letters. I decided I had nine blocks. I was going to also do he is risen. So you'll see me here putting the letters on the blocks. I was thinking of some other ideas. You could put any picture you wanted inside this wooden tray and you wouldn't have to use all nine of the blocks if you didn't want to. Um, maybe you just want to do the word Easter or maybe, um, gosh, I don't know, the possibilities are endless and I already have found another one of these wooden block puzzles, but it's a bigger tray and it has 20 blocks. I'm so excited. What are some other ideas of wording and pictures that we could do for these? Let me know in the comments below. So I've seen some other YouTubers use this shoe polish from the Dollar Tree to um, give a distressed look to their wood projects. So I decided I would try it for this, um, just giving it a little bit of a distressed look around the edges of the blocks and also the tray. Next, I'm taking the Mod Podge again and my foam brush, and I'm going to do a light layer over each letter sticker so that it's less likely to peel off the block.
Once that was dry, I did take a small piece of sandpaper and just sand around those same edges again so it didn't look so uniform with the shoe polish. And that was my final step of this project. I'd love to know what you guys think about this. And like I said before, leave in the comments any other ideas you have for a picture for the tray and the words that you would put on the nine blocks. The other great thing about these wood puzzles is that the blocks fit nicely into the tray for storage. And here's what my finished piece looks like. I just love how it looks, especially sitting on my fireplace. Again, thanks so much for joining me, you guys. I hope you enjoyed these two He Is Risen DIYs, and I will see you in my next video. Take care. Bye-bye.